Hi, this year's teaching showcase is being offered virtually via WebEx training. Here is a brief overview on some of the participant engagement features that may be used in one or more of the planned sessions. When you enter the WebEx training room, you will notice multiple panels located on the right-hand side of the screen. Let's start by reviewing the available panels. The participant panel will provide you with a list of presenters and panelists. At the base of this panel, you will find engagement icons. The raise hand icon can be used when the presenter asks for a show of hands or you have a question while in a breakout session. If you have a question, it is best to ask your question in the Q&A or chat panel if the Q&A is not enabled. The yes no icon is a way to quickly answer a closed ended question asked by the presenter. The slow icon indicates that the speaker is moving too quickly. The fast icon indicates that the speaker is moving too slowly. The emoticon icon will allow you to include emotions. The megaphone icon will allow you to see how many people responded using one of these icons. The audio icon will allow you to test your audio. And the list icon will allow you to switch the way you see the participant list. Remember, when using any of these icons, you are in full control. Once your comment has been addressed, you will need to deselect the icon by clicking on it again. The chat panel allows you to send a comment and or question to all participants, the presenter, the panelist, or other participants if enabled. The Q&A panel allows you to include your question. Once the question is answered, it will be linked up with the question for easy access and review. If polls are used during a session, the polling panel will appear once the poll has been opened. Please review the questions, select your answers, and once you are done answering all the questions, you can submit. Once you submit your poll, your submit button will change and your message will change to indicate that your responses have been recorded. Once the poll is closed, the panel will disappear. Any files that are shared for download will be available via file transfer. This will allow you to download files by selecting the file name and download. The downloaded file or files will be saved to your download folder on your computer. Breakout sessions are a way to break participants into a smaller group for discussion or collaboration. Once the presenter enables a breakout session, you will receive one of two messages depending on the role the system has assigned you. WebEx automatically selects a group leader for each breakout session. The leader will receive a pop-up indicating that you have been assigned as a presenter for the breakout session. Do you want to start the session now? Select yes. The other group members will receive a pop-up indicating that the group leader has invited you to a breakout session. Do you want to join the session? Be sure to select yes. Next, all participants will receive a pop-up indicating that your audio conference will be switched from the main session to the breakout session. Do you want to continue? Select yes. As a presenter, you have additional privileges. Once in your group, the group leader will need to share an application to share the activity handout. To do that, select the Share Application drop-down menu and select the application of the file. For example, if you are asked to edit a Word file, you will open Microsoft Word. While an application is being shared, the panel relocated to the top center of the screen and is hidden until you hover over it. As a leader, you have a few privileges to facilitate the group activity. The key privilege that will be assigned is Assign from the Assign drop-down menu. You can pass the keyboard and mouse control to another group member, allow another member to annotate on the document, and pass presenter privileges to another member. Once you are done, you can stop sharing to return to the breakout session main room. If your group completes the activity before the presenter ends the session for everyone and your group is ready to return to the main session, you can end the session for your group by selecting End Breakout Session. And when prompted, do you want to end this breakout session for all participants? Select End Session. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy this year's teaching showcase.